Hi folks, Todd Bossler again with TETV. I want to continue talking about what makes a great recruiting website. Right, last time we were together, we talked about um, making sure you get right to the point. Don't make them think, get right to the point of what this site or what I should be doing on this site. Now let's talk about what does this site need to do. The real core um, is any website at its core should provide value. So for you as a recruiter, you've got two sides to offer value to, and, and really they kind of lap over one another. But first let's talk about uh, what, offer, what you offer a job seeker. A, a job seeker, first and foremost, is, is going to be looking for a good recruiter. And so at the very base, you need to have your contact information, and here's who I am, and here's what I do. Okay? Next, you would a good recruiting website would have a listing of open positions for a job seeker to go through and look at. Now, those things in and of themselves will provide a good bit of uh, content for your website, but one thing that you can really add value to is utilizing or giving away your industry knowledge through a blog. Um, what this does is, is quite a large amount because what it does is gives your site much more searchability as far as relevant content and words and phrases and things that job seekers will be searching on. So not just job seekers though, this is where we cross over and lap into what value you provide to employers or prospective clients as well. So that blog showing your prowess, your knowledge of your industry will promote candidates, not only candidates, but clients to look you up and, and find you via search engines and search phrases. So that blog kind of search uh, helps both sides there. So moving along then, other entities, other things that you can provide value to clients is you can provide a list of featured candidates. Uh, not that you're asking a client to come through and make a placement for you, but it behooves you to show what caliber, what kind of candidates that you have in your data bank or your, at their disposal. And so having a list of those right there allows them to see the caliber of guys and gals that you have for them. Not only that, a lot of great sites are doing now a, posting their last three or six or eight placements, showing the level of candidate they placed, and so that shows the titles, and as, as far as that concerns, how high up the pay scale they are. And so once again, the other side of the coin, on the client side, you've got to have that contact information, which again provides that credibility. So again, if you're starting to build a brand new website, these are just ideas to help you figure out what's going to go on all of your web pages. But it could also go into revamping your website. Take a look at your pages, look and see if you have some of, or most of these bases covered, and if you don't, now might be a great time to implement them. That'll do it for another tip here at Top Echelon TV. I'm Todd Bossler, signing off.